For many mods, identification requires careful examination of the genitalia. In this video, I'll show you the first steps in dissecting mods for identification purposes. I should mention that these steps are my personal methods for quick IDs. I will be omitting a few steps that result in a higher quality end product, because they're really only necessary when preparing genitalia for scientific publication, or if you're a perfectionist, which I'm not. Before I begin, I should also let you know that I will not be preparing slides in this video either, so I will not be labeling the specimen with a unique dissection number. The genitalia will remain with the specimen after the dissection, in a small vial pinned beneath it. When selecting a specimen for dissection, it's important to know its sex. For most groups, males are more useful in identification, but in a minority, females are. Check out the first episode in this DIY entomology series if you want to learn how to sex them off. In North America, the Tortricid genus Pseudocentra is a late winter and early spring flying group. Externally, many species look very similar, so dissection is necessary to identify some of them. Here I am selecting a male and female from a drawer of unidentified pseudocentra. Before I do anything, I need to label my dissections. With a fine sharpie, I write a number on a small Eppendorf tube, which will help me associate my dissection with the moth it came from throughout the dissection process. I will then fill the tube with a 20% solution of KOH, also known as potassium hydroxide. KOH will act to digest most soft tissue away leaving behind the genitalia, abdominal wall, and other sclerotized or membranous structures. The next thing I do is carefully remove the abdomens from my selected moths. Using a fine pair of forceps, I will gently push up on the underside of the abdomen. The abdomen should pop right off. Next, I transfer the abdomens to my Eppendorf tubes, which are already filled with a 20% solution of KOH. An important detail to remember is to also label the tube with the name of the chemical inside. This is done for safety reasons. I then give the tubes a quick shake to ensure that the abdomen is fully immersed in the KOH. The chemical digestion process can take up to 24 hours at room temperature, or even longer for larger moths, so I like to speed it up using a heating block. This usually takes about 10 or 15 minutes, but I will check periodically to ensure that nothing is overdigested. Once you can see through the abdomen and KOH, it's ready for the next step. I will now transfer the abdomen to a watch glass filled with 90% ethanol. Using a fine brush and even finer forceps, I will gently tamp down on the abdomen to expel any undigested tissues. Depending on how long the abdomen was sitting in KOH, you may have more or less tissue present. Next, I gently brush away any remaining scales. I will then flip the abdomen over and do the same with the other side. Oftentimes, these steps alone will be sufficient to identify moths. At this point, you're usually able to see the shape or presence or absence of certain larger structures, which may be all you need for an ID. For example, the spine light structure on the tip of the valve that you see here on this male tells me it's Pseudocentra cressoniana. I can now remove the genitalia for closer inspection. If you are planning on staining the genitalia, it's best to wait until after staining for this. By carefully gripping the genitalia by the base of the valve, I can gently separate it from the rest of the abdomen. I can now spread the valves apart to look at other structures.
For cleaning, the initial steps are the same for females, except that the genitalia are removed differently. I will demonstrate how to do that in the next video. Structures like the sterygma, ductus bursa, and sidna in the corpus bursa are useful in identification and are often visible at this point. For some moths, however, necessary structures will not be readily visible without staining. I will cover the staining process in the next video.